Aries, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day one foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, so this is just a general energy check-in. I wanted to do something different today. So this is the theme of these readings are how do they feel about you? So this is anyone that you are energetically tied to, they're energetically tied to you. So the first person that comes to your mind when, when you hear this reading, that is who this reading is about. So remember, it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, there's a possibility it could just not be your reading. Check your sun and moon rising. That could help you to connect the dots. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have a message for you at some point in time in the future. Or you could always just book me for a personal reading. I do have a promotion going on right now where when you book me for a full in-depth personal reading, I will throw in three programs for absolutely free. So that is the Kabbalah program, the Universal Laws program, and the Money program. So this is just a nice little combo package for you to help you navigate the challenging times that we are living in from now moving forward. Remember Aries, you are responsible for your own security, stability, and happiness. And after looking at some of your reading, I know you know that. So I encourage you to take advantage of these tools that you are being given access to and how to continue to put yourself first and make yourself a priority. So with that being said, I would like to jump into your reading. So cards have already been shuffled and drawn, as you can see. And we have here three of air, seven of air in reverse, four of air, a lot of thoughts, a lot of thinking, and king of earth. Okay, Aries, so someone, someone feels like you are learning how to, <laughs> someone feels like you are very structured, you are very organized, you are very uh, routine, someone feels like you are, you have good habits, you have good patterns, uh, you, you, you're focused on your work. Yeah, someone thinks that you focus too much on work. I'm hearing someone say that's all he does. He just works. Mm -hmm. Someone sees you, though. They see you as someone who's very industrious, very abundant, very strategic. Yeah, but they do feel that you work too much. They also feel that you, you are very stuck in your ways about certain things, like certain things that you believe uh, the way how you perceive certain things, that that's just how you see it and you're not going to change your mind, at least not anytime soon. This person also feels like you surround yourself with good influences. Mm -hmm. uh, you may be learning something new, Aries. Does this person, they see you or they feel like you are... They feel like you're very smart mm -hmm, and that you're very capable. Yeah, they feel like you're someone who, if you say that you want something, you will figure out how to get it done and you'll get it done. So there's kind of a low-key admiration here for you, but at the same time, there is a resentment. I am feeling resentment and I'm feeling resentment, Aries, from a feminine energy. Yeah, because um, this person... So we have here 11 of air, 11 of earth in reverse, and 10 of earth in reverse. So this is, this is 11, 11, right? It's 11, 11. So I, you may be seeing 11, 11 a lot, Aries. Those are angel numbers. Uh, there's a lot of websites that uh, can help help you decipher the meanings, but the, it does stem around you. 1111 means creating your dreams. It's like the universe has given you the, the green light to go for what it is that you want. And this person sees you doing that because this person feels like you're just focusing on your own success. You're focusing on the things that you want. They feel like you're being selfish, but selfish in a way like you're just, you want to make sure that you're up, you know? You want to make sure that you're stable and you're secure. 
and that you can take care of yourself and take care of the people that you love. And they see that, they just, they think that you work too much. Yeah, this person, they also strongly feel like you are stuck in your ways mm -hmm, and no one can change your mind. And to you, your opinions are facts and whatever you assume is right. So this person, what this person wants with you, Aries, it's like they want you to see the difference between fact and fiction or differentiate between reality and what's not reality because to them, you're not balanced, right? To you, you're balanced, right? You're focusing on your shit that's balanced to you, but to them, this person feels like you're not, you work too much mm -hmm. and that your world is not balanced. This person, they just feel like you spend too much time at work. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. I can feel the resentment. So this person feels like they wouldn't be happy with you mm -hmm. because you're not balanced. But this person also feels like you're never satisfied, that you always want more. That's why you're always working. You know what, Aries? <laughs> At least you're not trying to live off of somebody, right? And just sit on your ass and expect someone to take care of you. You're willing to work, but life is about balance. Balance is very, very, very important, right? Mm -hmm. Cause too much of something is not good. Too much of anything, right? Even too much, too much of something good is not good. You have to have balance, right? The, in, on the planet we live in, in the universe that we live in, we have to have balance. You know, uh, uh, Aries, I encourage you to pick up my, pick up the programs, book a reading with me, and pick up the programs. They're free. It will teach you about these things. Also. At the bottom of my description box, there's a link to my online store, like I said, where I offer other transformational products and services. I don't remember if I said that to you earlier or not. I'm in channel mode. But um, there's a lot of programs that I offer that will teach you about balance and balancing your life and balancing your masculine and feminine energies. Because I can pick up your energy from, I pick up your energy, Aries, and you do feel that you're more in your, your masculine energy. I know that I'm speaking to a masculine right now. And you are very much in your masculine energy where you're just a, you can be aggressive, you're a go-getter, right? Mm -hmm. And you want something, you, you figure out how to get it done and you get it done. You get it done. Mm -hmm. So this person, I'm picking up the energy of a feminine, feminine energy. They feel like you just, you work way too much and you wouldn't, you wouldn't be around for the relationship. This person feels like you wouldn't be present. Because you would to be you would be too focused on working. They see that you're focused on your success and they feel like you put that above everything. Yeah, so and they think that they feel like you do that because you're never satisfied and you always it nothing is ever enough for you. But this person also feels like you wouldn't be enough for them in a relationship. They would not be satisfied with you because something would be missing. They also feel like you wouldn't be present. You wouldn't be there. Yeah. So this person, they feel like you, you're very stuck in your ways about certain things. You only see what you wanna see and hear what you wanna hear. You're not up for negotiation. You're not someone who's gonna change easily. You'll change in your own time, at your own pace, in your own way. And this person, it's just not enough for them. They want more. They want more from you, Aries. So that's how they feel about the outcome that the, you wouldn't have a good, they wouldn't have a good relationship with you because you're always working. But Aries, I feel your energy. You just want to make sure that you're good. You want to make sure that you can take care of yourself and take care of the people that you love. You just, security and stability at this this time in your life is very, very important to you. And I can feel that. Mm -hmm. I feel somebody, you know what I'm seeing? Um, seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, the cards. You're just working. You're building something. You're building stability, a solid foundation so you can kick back and relax as the king of earth that you are. 
Mm -hmm. So you're you're working a strategy right now. You have a plan right now. Mm -hmm. And this person, they don't see that, but you know what's going on. Right now, they just feel like you're just you're neglecting everything and everybody else because you're focused on yourself. You're focused on being successful, but they don't really know or understand why you're working so hard for the things you want right now. Hmm. Okay, well, Aries, that's on them. <laughs> that's on them. But life is very much about balance. But balance is important. Very important. You know, so while you're learning all these other things, you could throw some balance in there. <laughs> you know, just saying, just saying. Okay, Aries, this is what I have for you. If this reading resonates with you, can I get a like or a comment to know that I, I hit home with someone? Uh, if it doesn't resonate for you, it just may not be your reading. So like I said, the information to book me is at the top of my description box. Um, if you're looking for programs on just things to help you to help yourself, I offer a lot of programs, courses in my online store. You can browse around, look around. You may just find what you're looking for. The link is at the bottom of my description box. So Aries, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.